longest available duration. In this stimulator, this is 300 mm -hmm. that I am choosing this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my electrode over the motor point, which I actually marked now for you. Uh, as a beginner, it is okay to mark the uh, motor point. Why? Because uh, what will happen is when you're multitasking with the different pulse duration, intensity, and noting down the intensity, you are likely to miss the motor point. And if you miss the motor point, and if you're going even here and there a little bit more, you may get a contraction, but the intensity that is required to stimulate will vary. That's why I said that in the initial times, it's okay that if you are going to mark the uh, one, okay, <coughs> motor point and then start to stimulate. So I'm going for 300, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the intensity. So once you take, please let me So I'm slowly increasing the intensity, and actually I'm looking for the, I'm supposed to go for a minimum palpable contraction, contraction not a visible contraction. So I'm going to palpate for the tibialis anterior, and I'll tell you how to differentiate tibialis anterior, EHL, and XSR digitorum longest later, but I'll tell you that. But you should understand that the thickest of all, okay? And the medial most, that what you are going to have is it's your <coughs> tibialis anterior. If I think, okay. So I'm, no, he is having but no contraction at all. So I'm going to increase the intensity slightly more. Slightly more. This is too much. This is actually too much of intensity, that one was. Okay. This is, I would rate it right now as a minimal palpable, minimal palpable contraction, okay? Uh, remember this, uh, I'll go a little bit more. Why? Because he is going to palpate this strength of contraction. Uh, ideally, this should be supported, sorry, leave it. Okay, this should be supported. The foot should be actually supported. Uh, means in the sense, there should be a sandbag at least to keep the foot in neutral. Why? Because if the muscle gets lengthened, if the muscle gets lengthened, it requires more intensity to get stimulated again. Okay, so I don't want to do that. So I would actually keep a sandbag over here. Okay, so that the foot remains in neutral. Okay, shortened position is always good to stimulate a muscle. And you can now, yeah, fair enough. A little bit. So, yeah. Now what we are going to do is we are going to assess the strength of the contraction. Yes, sir, please. Can you check with your finger, index finger, pulp, okay? Use the pulp and please put it over here. There. 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 Okay? Uh, just look at the strength of the contraction, okay? Monitor that strength of contraction. You have assessed, you know that how much strength, because you are going to measure this strength till the last duration okay you have to be okay careful that what you are so first time you are and now what i am doing is i am going getting it at 3.8 Eight. Eight. so uh, remember Lock. your skin is also pliable is there so you have to be very careful that you know you are not moving the electrode too much that's the very reason i said point okay point the okay you have you can mark the motor point okay so it is 3.8 now once this is 3.8 let me first check okay Actually, this many times you cannot allow the muscle to uh, st get stimulated because if it is a denervated, by now the muscle would have got fatigued. Okay, so that's why I said it takes less than few minutes. Okay, less than three minutes you should finish. Why? Because I don't want the muscle to go into fatigue, especially denervated. <coughs> Here in this case it's a normal muscle, but still I will give some rest. Okay, you are in. Okay, yeah. Um, that's why I have kept it. Okay. Now I am going for the next duration that is available is 100. Okay. Now I will available is 100. Now what I am going to do is I am going to palpate the strength. Yes, please. Palpate. Sir. Palpate. Is it the same? No. Okay. No. Fair enough. It's the same. You can see now. Okay. I will put my finger. Yes. Can you see? Yeah, you can still see a visible also actually. Okay, I just wanted him to palpate. Why? Because as I go to the lesser durations, it may not be that 
visible for you that's why i wanted him to strength so yes okay i'll take it now this is the same intensity for now 100 now i'm reducing to next one that is 30 i'm reducing to 30 Can you see it is the same? Yeah. Now put your finger in it. Fair enough, it's almost the same. It's almost the same. Yeah. Now I am going for the next one that is your 10. I'm coming for 10. Okay, I'm coming for 10. Yeah. Now it has actually seems to be lesser. Yeah. Put your finger. Yeah. Now it has actually mm. not that strong. Okay, it is not that strong. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the intensity slightly. Okay, I think. Yeah, now let me check. Yeah, now I have come to the yeah, now I have come to the same strength again. Yeah, check. Okay, it's almost the same strength, or in fact, a little bit strong. It looks yeah, fair enough. I'll go with. Now I'll measure the intensity here. As I require 4.2 and 4.3. It was fluctuating. When it fluctuates, take the maximum value means 4.2 4.3 fluctuating i'll take 4.3 not 4 and 8 if it is fluctuating then the intensity display is wrong okay so please understand that okay fluctuating means when there is a minimum fluctuation take the highest value that is available now i'm going for the next one that is about 3 millisecond duration now yeah it has reduced yes it has further reduced uh, the sensory perception that you are getting re reduced that is a different perception. I am talking about the strength Okay, I am talking about strength of contraction. Why the sensory perception has reduced is I started with 300 milliseconds Now it has come to 3 milliseconds One hundredth of what actually I gave at the first. That's why his sensory perception is less But I am still increasing the intensity to get the muscle contraction yet he feels less current <coughs> Why? Because the duration of flow has reduced considerably. Okay, that's why he is feeling less. Yes, you are feeling less intensity. But actually, I am increasing the intensity. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to... This is still lesser. Okay. Not the earlier one that I got it. So, I am going to increase the intensity slightly. It's almost the same that we got it and it is 4.8 now. Okay, this is 4.8. Now I'm going to the next duration that is 1 millisecond. Now I'm going to the next duration that is 1 millisecond. Just palpate whether it's the same or different. It is reduced. Yes. Now look at it, palpate. Now you can see that it is same. Okay. In fact, a little bit strong, I would say. Okay. I'm coming down now. So this is actually too. It is too much of it. Yeah. Now check. Fair enough. Okay. Almost the one that what we got it. 5.4. This is for 1 millisecond. This is 5.4. Okay. Now I am going to the ne next to lesser duration. 0.3. Okay. Come to 0.3. Yeah. Now can you see? After coming to 1. At least till 1. I was getting a contraction. Which was lesser in strength. Now I have crossed 1. I have come to 0.3. Without changing anything in my intensity. It stopped to respond 
stops okay it stops to respond you remember my theory lecture i said that there is one millisecond is i require anything less than one millisecond then i have to definitely increase my intensity, intensity. without that you can see here that it stops to respond completely even though it's a normal uh, he's a model so we are doing it on a normal and yet when i come to three can you palpate please earlier at least there was a contraction which was weak now no contraction at all yes mm -hmm. so what i am going to do is i am going to now increase the intensity it started to work or no yeah it started to work but it is not as good as the previous one okay yeah yes please now i got the strength that is of the last one okay can you just feel it or i can go a little bit more yeah uh the tricky thing is here when you come to the short pulse durations of assessing the strength assessing the strength okay. assessing the strength uh, is oh, i'll complete this and i'll come and I'll let you know so this is 7.5 okay 7.5 and i'm going to now 0.1 okay i'm going to 0.1 now in that 7.5 there was a response i just moved to the lesser duration again so palpate it stopped to respond, respond. complete again nil response Again, what I have to do is I have to increase the intensity. intensity. Now it started to respond, but again, not as good as the earlier one. Yes, please. Can you palpate again? Palpate. So we got a response. This is a 12.9. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the duration to 0.03. <coughs> Once I reduce to 0.03, again it stops to respond. Yes, no contraction at all. No contraction at all. So what I'm going to do is again I'm going to increase the intensity. Started to respond. Yeah. Started to respond. Yeah, yes, please, Pampi. It's almost the same strength that what we got it in the earlier one. Yes. So this is somewhere I'm getting in 19.1. Now I'm going to the final available duration. That is where 0.01. Okay, 0.01. Now is it responding, sir? No, yes, it stopped again responding. Okay, you know, you know, I told you on that day. As I reduce the duration, that it is going to increase. The intensity that I require to stimulate will be increased. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is 29.5. Okay. So with this, okay, I am stopping. I actually did for all 10 durations, and I noted down the intensity for all the 10 durations. And now what I am going to do is I am going to. Thank you. <coughs> 